Hello, this is a basic crochet. Let's uh, learn how to do it. This is for beginners. Um, I suggest for beginners acrylic yarn, um, size 3, 4, or 5, medium weight yarn. Most of the yarns do tell you this is a 4, and they also give you a hook suggestion size which is always good. If you are very good with your tension, you can always go, um, and you'd like a tighter stitch, you can always go to a smaller hook, or um, if you want a looser fitting garment or just a looser stitch, you can always go a hook size higher. Um, most solid yarn acrylic uh, is the easiest to work with for beginners, I would say, a solid color. Um, because it's forgiving. It has stretch and it's easy if you drop a stitch. Anywho, um, most yarns are start have a start pull that you can pull it from the middle. Sometimes it sticks or it's a little knotted or something and it's a little harder to pull through. Um, this yarn suggests an eye size hook which is an I is a size nine. It's a 5.5 millimeter hook. I suggest aluminum for beginners because they don't have give. And if your tension is not so great just yet, it, it will give you a more even tension and the weight of it. So you figure out how you like to hold your yarn. This is how I hold my yarn wrapped around my index finger and held with my pinky. Um, and this is how I hold my hook, which is usually basic. Some people like to hold it a different way, however you're comfortable holding it. So let's get started. I don't start with a slip stitch as most crocheters do. I start with a twist in the opposite direction. So I make a loose loop and pull through. And that's my first chain stitch. Okay, so you just want to keep your tension nice and tight, not too tight, but nice and tight. Most patterns do start with a chain. When you are going back to make your first single crochet, you want to skip the first loop closest to the hook and push through one side of your braid. Pull through, you have two loops, pull through again, you have one loop, and your first single crochet has been made. So we'll do it again, pull through two loops, pull through back to one, and that's how you do a basic chain and single crochet. And usually when I get to the end, I pull through the whole loop and pull my tail tight so that I don't have a big loose loop here. So I pull right through. And then you wanna chain one, depending on your pattern. Chain one, turn your work, and you pull through both loops. So you're gonna pick up both sides of the braid, pull through two loops, pull through one loop and continue on. And that is a basic chain and single crochet. And for beginners, I do suggest acrylic. Uh, medium weight is the best way to go. An eye hook, a bigger hook is usually easier, be easier because you want to see your loops. You want to see what you're doing. If your hook is too small and your stitches are too tight, you're not going to be able to get the the needle through and if it's too loose sometimes it just takes way longer because you're just dropping the yarn. The yarn will keep dropping off of your hook if you're not pulling it through straight. So when you get to the end you want to pull through where your chain is, do a last single crochet and chain one. And you'll notice if you're dropping a stitch because it'll start to go in a diagonal. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful. Um, and uh, please subscribe and share with your friends and what have you. If I get some good feedback, maybe I'll make another one, um, another one of these videos. Thank you so much. Happy hooking. Have a great day.